The RCMP has put out a news release for three missing children. I'm going to read it to you and make myself disappear so you can see this much better. On June 16, 2024, at approximately 2 a.m., the RCMP received a report that three children who had previously been reported missing in December 2023 from Durham, Ontario, were in the port of entry. Officers arrived on scene and located the three children who were unharmed and with their mother, 55-year-old Astrid Schiller. The children were immediately taken into care. The mother was arrested as a result of an outstanding warrant of arrest for child abduction from Durham Regional Police. Astrid Schiller was later released from custody as the warrant was not extended into the province of Manitoba. On June 17, 2024 at 1.25 a.m., Blue Hills RCMP received a report that the three children were no longer in the care at a residence in Forest, Manitoba and were missing. The RCMP is searching for the three boys, Leon 12 years old, Christopher 11 years old, and Thomas 9 years old. RCMP believes the children are with their mother, Astrid Schiller, who is believed to be driving a white 2018 Mercedes G a GLC with British Columbia license plate SJ975W. And if you've seen this vehicle or any information on the current whereabouts of these children, please contact your local police service, 911, the Blue Hills RCMP, Crime Stoppers, or a secure tip. Now, with that being said, you might be thinking, well, you saw the title. How does this involve the convoy? And again, here is a good photo of those children that are being looked for. Well, you see, this woman's name is not new. And as you heard, this isn't a new problem for her. So this is on Convoy Watch. I will have a link in the pinned comments and the description to both Convoy Watch and the RCMP. Uh, this is about her uh, having child abduction charges. And if you scroll down through, you'll see links to conspiratorial pseudo-ideological convoy group Stand For Thee. Schiller is listed as a member of a group called Stand For Thee and has participated in the group's Zoom meetings, has appeared on a number of Stand For Thee Zoom calls to discuss strategies to oppose uh, Soji123 inclusive educational content. Stand for Thee is a far right group that creates uh, pseudo legal documents related to conspiracies about public health matters, vaccines, and education. The group first popped up during the pandemic, and its group members have since been involved with the 2022 Freedom Convoy, last year's Save the Children Convoy, and an upcoming plan to occupy police stations. The police station occupation never actually happened, even though they try to go, you know, that people try to put forward it's legal, it's cool. No, it didn't happen. And here you can see one of their banners with a just uh, Trudeau for treason. So yeah, these are the kids. There's the woman. There's a stock photo of the vehicle. Um, I don't, I don't think she's ever. I, I might be wrong. I don't. I haven't seen anything where she's directly been with the convoys. But if you watch any live streams of convoy content, just have your eyes open, especially since they've been making those encampments. You never know where someone like this is going to try to hide out at. This is not a new thing, and they're doing it again. Save the children, am I right?